In this video, you're going to learn about benchmark fractions and how they can help you compare and order different fractions. When we talk about benchmark fractions, we're going to focus today on 0, 1 half, and 1. Those are what we would consider our benchmarks. A benchmark is something that you can use to help you compare other things. So we're going to look at different fractions and we're going to decide if they are exactly 0, if they're less than one half, exactly one half, greater than one half, or exactly one. And as we look at the different fractions, we're going to put them into this table. So these are the fractions that we're going to be looking at. We have zero fourths, zero sixths, three fourths, two fourths, five tenths, twelve twelfths, four fifths, one third, and two eighths. If we look at our first fraction here, 0 fourths, if I have 0 parts of something, it doesn't matter how many parts my whole is divided into, if I have 0, then that means my fraction is equal to exactly 0. So we're going to go back to our chart and fill in 0 fourths. That fraction is equal to 0. Our next one is 0 sixth. It's the same thing. We have 0 parts, so that fraction is equal to 0. So we're going to add it to our chart. So you should notice that on our chart, if it's exactly 0, our numerator is 0. It doesn't matter what our denominator is. If the numerator is 0, we don't have anything. Our next fraction that we're going to look at is 3 fourths. When you're looking at fractions, you can use fraction towers to help you. So here's an example of our fraction towers. So for 0, we're not going to have anything. For 1 half, we have the fraction tower that says 1 half. And for 1 whole, we have the fraction tower that says 1 whole. So we're looking at 3 fourths. So here I've taken 3 of the fraction towers that are each worth 1 fourth. So I have 3 fourths. And we can see it's more than one half, but it's less than one whole. So if we think about where in our chart we're going to put it, we want it to be greater than one half, but it's not one whole. So we're going to put three fourths here on our table for greater than one half. The next fraction we're going to look at is two fourths. So again, we're going to use the fraction towers to help us. So here we've built two-fourths. And you can tell by looking at it that it is exactly the same size as one-half. So when we put it on our chart, we're going to put it for exactly one-half. So two-fourths is exactly one-half. They would be equivalent fractions. They're equal. The next one we're going to look at is 5 tenths. So here we have 5 tenths. And again, we can see that that is exactly 1 half. And what you can look at is 5 is exactly half of 10. So we're going to put 5 tenths in our table for exactly 1 half. So we're going to put 5 tenths here. The more you do this, you should start to see some patterns. So as you're working through different fractions, I want you to just start looking for some patterns that you find. Our next fraction that we're going to look at is 12 twelfths. So here we have 12 twelfths, and we can see from the fraction towers that 12 twelfths is the same as one whole. So 12 twelfths is exactly one. So on your chart, you're going to put 12 twelfths is exactly one. The next one we're going to look at is 4 fifths. So here we have 4 fifths. We can see it's more than one half, it's greater than one half, but it's less than one whole. So it's going to go in our greater than one half spot of our chart. 
So we'll put 4 fifths is another fraction that's greater than 1 half. Now let's look at 1 third. I've put 1 third on this side because it's smaller than 1 half. It's less than 1 half, so I've ordered them kind of in order from least to greatest. So 1 third is less than 1 half. So we'll put 1 third here in our less than 1 half part of our table. Last one we're going to look at is 2 eighths. So I want you to make a prediction of where you think 2 eighths is going to go on the table. Okay, let's see if your prediction was right. Here's 2 eighths, and we can see that it is less than 1 half. So it will go on our less than 1 half part of our table. So 2 eighths is less than 1 half. So let's look at what we've got. We have exactly 0. We have 0 fourths and 0 sixths. 1 third and 2 eighths are less than half. 2 fourths and 5 tenths are exactly half. 3 fourths and 4 fifths are greater than half and 12 twelfths is exactly 1. So you should start to see some patterns, and the more you look at this, the more patterns you should see.